Hi, my name is John Wosu, and I will be presenting on my project that I performed at Ellis Montessori School in Savannah, Georgia. So let's get right into it. After consulting with my team, we decided that the target population should be eighth grade parents. I collected narrative data from my team, which included the counselor, principal, social worker, administrative assistant, and the parent. We discussed the challenges of parental involvement at our school. The primary challenges presented were the following. Parental engagement, so they talked about getting some parents involved, was a chore. Many parents' work schedule made it difficult for them to engage more. Also, other parents would only come if their child's behavior was an issue. Next, there was an issue of tardiness. Many students were habitually tardy. And last, parent-student accountability. Educators did not feel supported by the district, which made it difficult to hold students accountable, parents as well. As for evaluation, I created a simple pre-post test that asked parents of 8th grade students about their familiarity with student content before and after 8th grade parent night. I created two Google Forms that were sent out to 8th grade parents. The goal of any professional school counselor is to knock down barriers that impede student success. Often these barriers are related to challenges outside of school, which is why creating collaborative relationships among families, the school, and the community is so important. Before students interact with the school, their behavior begins at home. Of course, the student is ultimately responsible for every decision that she or he makes. However, the home environment determines to a large extent the student's options and access. We know that 91% of a child's time from birth to age 18 is spent outside of school. Once students start school, 70% of their waking hours are spent outside of school. America's youth have a great deal of discretionary time. 60% of an adolescent's waking hours are committed to such essentials as school, homework, eating chores, and employment. 40% of their time is considered to be discretionary. With so little time spent in the classrooms, it is clear that parental involvement is the primary factor in educational success. Understanding that the 8th grade students who are transitioning to ninth grade will be dealing with a lot of opportunities for growth, this is a very integral time for parental involvement. The vision here was for this program to effectively increase opportunities and spaces for parent engagement and parent school and community collaboration. The roles of each stakeholder were to require engagement and self-accountability. In this situation, if a stakeholder, i.e. the parent, is unable to attend 8th grade parent night, then we ask that she or he actively engages by watching the video and providing authentic feedback via pre-post test. My timeline was as follows. On 2.18, I brainstormed ideas and discussed project concepts with my counselor. On 2.20, I proposed creating an online guidance lesson archive to help keep parents up to date and give them tools for in-home reinforcement. The counselor was hesitant about recording while children were in the room and said she would discuss with principal. On 225, I suggested to the counselor that I would create a private school YouTube channel for guidance lessons archives. On 227, I first met with 8th grade teachers about upcoming 8th grade parent night. We also discussed content to be covered and threats to parental attendance. On 3-4, I attended an attendance meeting. We gathered a lot of useful information. We discussed challenges with students' attendance and also discussed the biggest challenges with getting parents to come to school after hours. On 311, I proposed recording 8th grade parent night in lieu of guidance lessons, archives, and counselor agreed. We also met with students to discuss plans and placement for high school. On 313, I updated documents for 8th grade teachers and parents and sent them out a final blast of materials to promote for 8th grade parent night. On 320, I assisted parents with filling out documents for high school, recorded parent night presentation, and also provided links for the pre-post surveys about parental awareness. At parent night, we covered the following areas. What grade 8 students have been doing to prepare for high school transition, individual graduation plan, 
what students need to do to graduate from high school, CTAE pathways, major high school exams, and where to go for help. Here is an excerpt of my counselor explaining to parents what the graduation pathways are. The advanced academic pathway is simply where you take the sequence of courses that's required. So for social studies, was it three or four? Three? Science, math, and English, it was four. And one of those courses for an advanced academic pathway has to be an AP, an IB, or dual enrollment. In other words, they go to college for that class. Um, as far as the world language pathway goes, they just take three consecutive years of the same language, like French one, two, three, Spanish one, two, three. Fine arts. Um, is if you take three courses, sequential courses in any of these arts area. Like it could be piano, it could be dance if you're at Savannah Arts, um, music classes, theater, visual arts, but it has to be in the same area, not three different fine arts classes. And then the CTAE pathway is a cluster of specific courses. Um, so for example, if you go to Jenkins and you're in the engineering program, it would be those engineering courses to get that pathway. I performed a SWOT analysis for feedback. The strengths were strong participation, high engagement, incentives. Students were offered a dress down day if they came, so there were several in attendance. A uh, counselor covered content and presentation very well, and parents considered the presentation to be very helpful. The weaknesses were turnout. There were a relatively small percentage of eighth grade parents who attended. Uh, we started a few minutes late. And also, I did not have surveys on the spot. And therefore, the links that I sent out were not used very heavily. Opportunities include online webinars that will allow parents to attend no matter where they are, and YouTube recordings which will allow parents to watch whenever. The threats are finding a time that works for everyone is difficult and then also parents may put it off without having an official date and time if we post YouTube videos of the recorded presentation. Overall, 8th grade parent night was a success. According to Henderson and Barla, uh, the single best predictor of student success in school is the level of parental involvement in the child's education. The benefits of parental involvement include Improvement in academic achievement, reduced absenteeism, improved school behavior, increased academic motivation, and lower dropout rates.